Now, we need to add using column addition. First, we have 2839 plus 86. So we write the question out like this, with the digits lined up on the right hand side. So with the 6 underneath the 9 and the 8 underneath the 3. Because that way, our place value columns are lined up. So we have our 1s column, our 10s, our 100s and our 1000s. So we line the digits up on the right hand side. And then we start by working from right to left. So adding our 1s. 9 plus 6 is 15. So we write that 1, 5 with the first digit above the next place value column along. 1 plus 3 plus 8 is 12, that's 1, 2. 1 plus 8 is 9, and 2 plus nothing is 2. So our answer is 2,925. Now, 2,424 plus 909. Again, we've got the question written out with the digits lined up on the right hand side. Because when we're adding whole numbers, if the digits are lined up on the right, then our place value columns will be lined up as well. That is with whole numbers. Remember with decimals, it's the decimal point that you need to line up. But here, because we've got whole numbers, we've lined them up on the right hand side, and that means our ones, tens, hundreds and thousands columns are lined up as well. Now, 4 plus 9 is 13, so that's 1, 3. 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3. 4 plus 9 is 13, so 1, 3. And 1 plus 2 is 3. That gives us 3,333. 856 plus 567. 6 plus 7 is 13, so 1, 3. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12, so 1, 2. And 1 plus 8 plus 5 is 14. Now normally, if we get a two-digit answer, we write the first digit above the next place value column along. But here, we don't have any more digits to add. So we can just write our answer in our answer line. 1 plus 8 plus 5 is 14, so we can write that in our answer because there are no further digits to the left. So that gives us 1,423. Finally, let's look at 3,867 plus 2,536. 7 plus 6 is 13, so 1, 3. 1 plus 6 plus 3 is 10, that's 1, 0. 1 plus 8 plus 5 is 14, that's 1, 4. And 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6, so our answer is 6,403. Now let's take a look at these questions a bit more closely. And what we can do is show base 10 blocks to make it clear why this method works. So why we need to line up our place values, why we write the first digit of a two digit answer above the next place value column along. So for this first question, we started with 2839. So that's two thousands, eight hundreds, three tens and nine ones. Remember, we work from right to left. So we started by adding six ones. But remember, when we've got 10 ones, we can exchange those for 110. So to add 6, we can add 1, exchange, then add 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can see that we've made 1 extra 10. So that's why we write 1 above our 10s column, and we've got 5 ones. So now we need to add 8 tens. But remember, when we get to 10 tens, we can exchange those for 100. So we can add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exchange, then add 7, 8. And you can see that by doing that, we've made 1 extra 100. So that's why we write 1 above our hundreds column, and we've got 2 tens, 
so two tenths to go in our answer. And we've now got nine hundredths because we need to add the one that we made from adding our tens and we've still got two thousands. We can also show the addition using place value counters. So we start by adding six ones, but remember when we've got ten we exchange. So we add one, exchange, then add two, three, four, five, six. Then we add eight tens. And remember again, when we've got ten tens, we can exchange those for one hundred. So we can add one, two, three, four, five, six, exchange, then add seven, eight. So that gives us two thousand nine hundred and twenty five as our answer. Then we started with 2,424 and we were adding 909. First we add 9 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then we can exchange, then add 7, 8, 9. So doing that means we've made 1 extra 10 and we have 3 ones, so that's the ones digit of our answer. Now we have 1 plus 2 tens and we're not adding any tens so we have 3 tens in our answer, 2 that we started with and 1 that we've made by adding our 1s. Then we need to add 9 hundreds. But remember once we get 10 hundreds we can exchange those for 1 extra thousand. So we can add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 exchange, then add 7, 8, 9, and now because we've made an extra thousand, that's why we write 1 above our thousands place value column, and then we've got 3 hundreds in our answer, and because we weren't adding any more thousands, we've got our 3 thousands as well. Or using place value counters, remember we start by working from right to left, so we start by adding our nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, exchange, seven, eight, nine. Then we weren't adding any tens, but we were adding nine hundreds. We can add one, two, three, four, five, six, exchange, then add seven, eight, nine, and you can see that we have three thousand. 333. Now we have 856 and we were adding 567 so let's start by adding 7 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, exchange, 5, 6, 7. So we've made 110 and then we've got 3 ones in our answer. Now we can add 6 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, exchange, 5, 6, so we've made 1 extra 100 and we have 2 tens in our answer. So now we need to add 5 hundreds. But remember when we get 10 hundreds we can exchange those for 1000. So we can add 100 then exchange because that gives us 10 then add 2 3, 4, 5, and you can see that we now have 1,400 in our answer. Or using place value counters, remember we start by adding 7 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, exchange, 5, 6, 7. Then we can add 6 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, exchange, 5, 6, and then we add 5 hundreds. 1, exchange, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that gives us 1,423. And finally, let's take a look at 3,867 plus 2,536. First, let's add our six ones. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Now we can add our three tens, one, two, three, but that gives us 10 tens, so we exchange those for 100, which is why we have zero tens in our answer line. Now we add five hundreds, so we can add one, exchange because we've now got 10, then add two, three, four, five. And finally, we just need to add two thousands. There's one, two thousands, and that gives us 6,403. Or using place value counters, first we add six ones. One, two, three, exchange. Four, five, six. Then three tens, so one, two, three. And now, because we've got 10 tens, we can exchange those for 100, and that leaves us with zero tens in our answer. Now, we need to add five hundreds. One, exchange. Two, three, four, five. And then, we add two thousands. So, that gives us 6,403.